morning everyone it is Thursday I'm so convincing aren't I you know I'm pretty sure it's Thursday <laughs> uh, so I'm just sitting here with Rosie at the moment getting her to have a drink she just had a little drink of water which ended up taking her to the vet yesterday because because she hadn't been eating and they've given her some anti-nausea tablets to hopefully improve her appetite. She actually had a bit of dinner last night. I found some, what, well, she'd taken out of the freezer some, um, like a vegan bolognese sauce. It was over a year old, so I was just going to give it to the doggy. So that's what she had for dinner last night. She seemed to enjoy that. Um, once we've got her going with the food, so that's good. And she's drinking. So hopefully this morning she'll have some more breakfast. We'll just see how we go, I guess, what appeals to her. She's certainly more alert. Even yesterday, she was a little bit more alert. I f one, at one time, I spotted her sniffing her foot. That was the first time she expressed interest in anything besides sleeping. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, she's a poor old girl. The vet was very optimistic, though. Um, very hopeful that she would sort of make a really good recovery. And he said she might even live to 15 or 16. <laughs> Never had a dog reach 15 before, so we will see. But uh, especially with all the lumps and bumps that this one's got. But she's doing okay, and he said she wasn't in pain. So that's the main thing, because Kevin was really worried about that she was in pain. He said, no, she, we're nauseous, but not in pain. So with the vestibular disorder. And he said it could be from an ear infection, because she has had many ear infections. He looked in her ear, he said he didn't think it was that, but that we're treated with antibiotics just in case. So it's no real negative downside. It's just if she hasn't got an ear infection, I won't do anything. And obviously at her age, it's, you know, just, uh, so she's on antibiotics as well to treat a possible ear infection. It's unlikely, but um, who knows? She's had a number of them, so it could be from that. But anyway, main thing is to get her better, get her eating, and yeah, see how it goes. Because it's been a very rough week so far. Poor Kevin has to carry up and down the stairs. Uh, I have to shuffle her out to the toilet. So I've got a bad back. Kevin's got sore knees, which we've already had beforehand. But um, she's getting better, so hopefully she'll be um, walking around on her own soon enough. She comes in fine from outside, but she won't walk out there. It's very strange. But other than that, that's pretty much all that's been happening. I haven't really done a lot. I'm not feeling fantastic myself, and I wasn't yesterday either. Uh, but hopefully I will come good, because I really need to clean this house. It's, um, I haven't had a good clean now in a few weeks, so I really, really want to clean. I will just potter along and clean anyway. I'm not that bad. I might not be capable of a walk, especially if I've got a sore head. Oh, it's a lovely day outside today, so I would like to spend some time outside. It's going 21, which is my perfect temperature. So, <laughs> and it's going back to cold again after today. <laughs> so I've got the one little nice, and I think raining again as well from tomorrow. So I've got one really nice day today. So hopefully my head won't hurt too much, and I'll have to get out and enjoy it. But anyway, it's a vlogging day, so you get to see what I'm up to. Well, I did Rosie a special breakfast. She's got some wheat bix with chia seeds and some peanut butter in it to try and make it extra tasty and just some full fat milk let's see how she goes if she's actually interested today oh I've also got a tablet I'll give her a tablet first because I've got to shove it down her throat so we'll get that over and done with I know this isn't very nice oh, Rosie well, you're feeling better if you're fighting with me. Good girl. Look at that. Come on, nice pretty. Oh, my oh, darling. You ever think about it? Oh girl. Do I have to hand feed you? No, oh, that's what you're gonna have. There wasn't very much. I made it nice. 
Also. a hand feeder but that's all that's left so she's eaten most of that so I'm so happy with her maybe we can get it even finish it but she's done really good this is something my other dogs couldn't do every share I had the same bottle that these two do I drink out the water bowl at the same time and she she finished that bowl I just got a little bit left of my hand <laughs> the griddles were very patient I think the peanut butter in it was probably the secret ingredient in that one what a good girl rose i've got to clean my hand and i'll come back and give you some water kurt is quite intrigued our window cleaners here how are you doing little bear you've been a good boy you were barking at him before <laughs> well, i've hung out my clothes and i had to do new food and well, I took so I had to wash the Charlie's food and water containers for Christy because I think he knocked them down, he pooed everywhere. So while I was doing that, I thought I'd just quickly change out his newspaper and the trays. I've done that really quickly. Not a thorough clean, as you can probably tell, but, you know, 90% done. Much improved. So I'm going to pop him outside now. I hope you enjoy the lovely weather we're having today. Crazy <laughs> here again. I finally got to have my breakfast. I ended up smoking a lentil patty sandwich just with some tomato chutney on today because I'm out of salad stuff sorry I'm getting distracted the guys cleaning the pool fence at the moment but I'm now enjoying a lovely cup of tea but you have a mug today I've got well my other favorite my second favorite mug this one I got from the Monterey Aquarium in America yeah, it's a bit hard to vlog I did do a heap of stuff I hung out the washing um, what else did I do? I don't know, I thought I did a heap of stuff. Of course, now I can't remember what it was. I'll move the furniture back that was out there and... I got Rosie out to the bathroom again and got her back in again and got her some water and... I'm sure I did a few other things and then I finally got my breakfast. No, I can't think what it was now. And I'm sure I did some other things in there. I seem to be doing going from one thing... Sorry, I'm looking in the wrong spot again on the phone. I seem to be sort of going from one job to the other until I've got my breakfast. But I'm pretty tired now, so I'm going to probably have a nice little rest here. Made about 11 o'clock, so it's about 45 minutes or so. I'm watching cleaning videos, so I'm trying to get myself more motivated. Oh, before, I actually already dusted half. I've dusted part of the lounge room. I've just got to do the TV unit, and the rest is I've already dusted. So I did do something before. I thought it's just going to be, I think one of those days, I'm just going to clean the little tiny, tiny bits and hopefully get all the downstairs done eventually over the day. Because <sighs> I'm just not feeling the best still, a bit like yesterday. So I don't think a walk going to happen, but if I feel a lot better in the afternoon, maybe, because it's such a, a lovely time. The poor guy's trying to battle the fern now to, or the palm tree to clean the corner. I might need a bit of trim there. Anyway, I'm going to have my cup of tea enjoy that and hopefully get rested up and motivated annoyingly i am not feeling good so head to be stomach very achy body with fibro pain anyway <laughs> i'll have a cup of tea i'm still trying to do little bits when i get up and hopefully i can still get the house mostly done but I, my body is really sore. I think I'm going to do the way the blanket out. That's how sore my legs and arms are. Probably doing some good to sit under that. And, well, hopefully, anyway. How annoying. <laughs> That's fine, bro. I put the chickpeas on earlier, so they are all done. They've turned out absolutely perfect this time. And I put on the dog's dinner to cook. And when these are cooled down, I'll, um, well, I'm going to eat some. <laughs> when they've cooled down, I'll 
package them up and pop them in the freezer like I usually do. Okay, I am still rather sore, but I had to get up and make some lunch. So I've got some potatoes in cooking. Just the easy thing. Obviously, being such a beautiful day outside, a salad would be perfect. But I have no lettuce. Like, it's a tragedy. But since potatoes and lettuces, I haven't got one of them. It's not good. I don't have, sal I don't have lettuce today. <laughs> so no salad. So I'm just having potatoes. Done the little bit of washing up that was there. And I also packaged it up the chickpeas I need to get some more I obviously didn't have a lot so this is actually one and a half so I'm hoping I'll remember because the container's not filled that it's not the two tins it's only one tin anyway I'll pop them in the freezer yeah I think I'll pop them in the freezer I always get them out for when I know what I'm making with them well I have got the front entry toilet laundry and all here vacuumed Leaving the vacuum there with a the new battery on it so I can do it out in the spa room. And then I'll make my way into here. So even if it doesn't happen to tomorrow, I'll just continue on. It's now going to stop for lunch. And even though I really don't feel like it, and my legs are very sore, I'm going to sit outside and have my lunch out there while it is so nice. What a gorgeous day. Well, not many for clouds, but a few white upper clouds around. But there's more over that direction. So looking forward to summer now that we don't have non-family members living in the house I'm sure we'll get a lot more use out of the pool this year because we can just come in whenever we want to oh it's so nice and hopefully that bed might be a bit dried out actually I might move it more into the sun now but we've still kind of got the winter sun going because Rosie Oh my god, it's heavy. Rosy weed on it. Oh, no, it's still wet. Okay, I'm going to turn it over though. I actually think maybe every time I turn it over, the water's just going from one inch to the, to the other. Oh well. And I'll just leave it turned over. Because that was dry, now it's all wet. I don't know. I forget a bit of sun. I need to mop out here. Look at that. Ugh. But you got moved away, Charlie, when the windows all got cleaned. <laughs> So much to do. Oh, I got up to move this and then I forgot about it. Kevin had the bed popped over that. I don't know whether we're going to be able to recover that bed. I guess eventually it will dry out. Not a lot more sun this afternoon though. Because Kevin had to hose, the only way to clean it was to hose it. So, that's what's been done. I think the cover's pretty dry. Just realised, you know how I was saying this morning the guy was having trouble with the palm tree in the road. Well now Kenite in the road. But there's a little second palm tree growing off the big one. Off that one. It's got a second little one. That's why all these branches are down low. Where are we? Yeah, this is a little offshoot one. How cute. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> well, Kenite keeps standing in the way, but you can... I should get up, but yeah, I'm too lazy for that, but you can kind of see a second. Yeah, maybe you can see it, hopefully, without me moving. Next time I'm out there, I'll try and show you guys. That is so cute. That's like a free palm tree. But these palm trees are now 15 years old. I think when they were planted, they were just... They're a little bit taller than this new one, which is just above the fence, just going above the fence now. I don't know if it's actually going to work like that with that one there. It's well and truly established though now. I love my home, but there's so much work to it. That before, yeah, I could manage it. I could just see all the weeds out there, and there's weeds at the front, and this needs cleaned, and that needs cleaned, and it's like, ugh. I can't do it. I don't have enough. I don't have enough spoons. <laughs> Oh dear, but those clouds are nice. I'm not even filming you a time lapse. I probably should be. <laughs> God, I'd be sick of time lapse clouds. I love them. Guess what you're going to get now. <laughs>
going to go all dark. I don't know. Okay, I'm probably just something to just trying to eat it or trying to use it one or the other. So he goes off to get a clip tomorrow, so it won't be so fluffy. So he's looking really good now, but it's, you know, he needs to get a clip before it gets unruly. Oh, you got to play with fuzzy, but you're playing where all the holes are. That scallywag pop dug another hole in the backyard just last night and he roped this one in. So many holes in our yard. Look at it. And then the grass grows over it and then you can't even see the holes. But they're there. Oh, you're going inside, babe. Bye. <laughs> I was just trying to take a nice photo of the, the sun on the clouds. Well, not sun on the clouds, the tree in the clouds. The clouds. Okay, done. And that here is done. Not perfectly. But pretty good. So I'm gonna put the mop in the kitchen. I wasn't gonna mop the kitchen, but I'm gonna to try to. So I'm gonna leave it here. And next time I'm up, I'm gonna try and run over the kitchen. And then besides the toilet, everything downstairs is done. And next time I go to the toilet, I'll try and get that done. So I'm very pleased, considering how sore I am today, I think I've done pretty good. I think it's really sore. I'm going to go and sit myself back under that blanket. Actually, I'm going to pop this here because if I don't get to it today, it can stay there. It's been there a week anyway. <laughs> Remind me to finish off and maybe I'll put the dust on my desk and maybe dust the family room and study. If not, that doesn't matter. I'm not that worried about that. I'm pleased. At least the lounge room looks like it's had some love, except for around Rosie. I didn't move her, she hasn't moved. I think she's still breathing. <laughs> she looked at me before. Poor girl, yeah, then she twitched her eyes. Um, yeah, so I haven't vacuumed where she is, <laughs> but besides that, I vacuumed. I don't know where to sit and do my puzzle for a little bit. I might do that, work on my puzzle a bit more, come get near the end. Drink some water, because it's so warm now after cleaning. And then I'll go and sit under my weighted blanket for a bit more. Luckily, luckily dinner's done. I've just got to cook some rice in the pressure cooker. And I've got the curry dish that I made two days ago. Something that I was vlogging. I don't know. Anyway, I've, made, I've got some curry that I made and some's in the freezer. And I left one serve out. So I've got that. I've been looking at glass containers. From what I can read, the, sort of the recommendation is to... Um, freeze and reheat things or reheat things not in plastic using glass so i think i'm gonna yeah transfer over to glass stuff for that and i just recommend using plastic for you know storing like food in which i most 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 months in glass anyway or for like take like taking with you which is what we had a lot for originally but i think rather than buy more plastic stuff i need some more stuff so i've got to decide or plastic or invest in some glass and I think I'm going to invest in some glass now that I know we're going to be doing a lot more stuff but I need some smaller ones I've got big ones but I need smaller ones so it's also just the two meals for Kevin and myself so I think Big W have some so I'd just like to have like maybe two or three different sizes and that's it and then I'll get rid of everything else just reporting in that I did get the floor mopped that's done I also did the toilet, so I've got everything downstairs. I didn't do the kitchen properly. That's the only thing, I guess. That's okay. <laughs> gets a bit of a wipe down every so often anyway. <laughs> I'll try and get to that tomorrow. And upstairs, to the staircase at least, because it didn't get done last week either. So I've done a fair bit, because we did extra, I did the birdcage. I've done some extra stuff. So I do feel, considering, not feeling the best. I thought I was feeling a bit better this afternoon. Not quite as achy, but not as good as I'd like to feel, but that's okay. I've got myself done, so I'm pleased with myself, but like I do not clean at half past four in the afternoon ever. But I just mopped at four thirty in the afternoon. To get done, again, because it was broken down to little jobs, I could do it. It was achievable. So much better system for me to work through. Um, yeah, 
I'm happy. <laughs> so dogs is having a, have a nice dinner. Well, um, I'm not quite sure. Bailey's bowl's empty and he's finished. And Keenai, Coda's bowl's empty, but I think Keenai finished his bowl. So he'll pour some of Coda's. They come with some of Keenai. They sort of swap the two griddles. And I'm having a cup of tea. And I was just thinking, do I want something to eat? But I don't know. I'm not especially hungry, and it's only an hour to dinner, so I'll probably wait to dinner. I'm a cup of tea. That'll keep me. That'll keep me busy. Um, <laughs> keep me occupied as far as eating goes. And then we'll have. Do you know, have I eaten anything this afternoon? I don't think so. Since lunch? No, I don't believe so. I don't know. Some days it's like you're just peckish and you want something or you... Whatever, but most more days than that I feel like I'm not nowadays. I'd probably have a banana if I had one that was suitable to eat. Actually, this is... Mm. It's hard to know. They look, they look brown, they're all spotty, but they might actually be alright. I might try one. I know a certain dog who'll eat it if I don't eat it. He's off on this body like that and they're perfect inside, so. Couldn't get Rosie. Couldn't get Rosie interested in any food, but she's had another big drink of water. I'm gonna try later on. I've got some potatoes. I just know they'd be soft enough for, but they're plain. I thought it'd make some of my nacho cheese sauce or something to make it a bit more flavorful for her. So I might try that in a bit for her, see if she is interested in. And that'd be good to get her some, some dinner again. Otherwise, I might just make some tea. I don't know, I'll work something out for her. So we're gonna have dinner now. We ended up having a cup of tea before, so we're having a later dinner because rice was taking a while to cook. So we've got, yeah, ground rice is cooked and the curry that I made the other day. And Rosie walked out of the toilet by herself. Yeah, Rosie went to the toilet by herself. Which is good, because I started to shuffle her along like I have been. And then I went out to open the door and, I don't know, I was calling her, wasn't I? But I think she wanted to go. Yeah, so she's back on the bed now. And she ate potato, I don't think I updated it, I gave her some potato that I'd cooked for dinner, which she ate probably one and a half potatoes worth of potato. So, now she's back sleeping she's, again. She's got new tablets. So. Yeah, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin went and bought, got the super expensive anti-nausea tablets. <laughs> Have you heard that? Tweet all the tablet. We've got four tablets to give her if she needs them. We'll see how she goes in the morning. If she won't eat breakfast, I'll give her a tablet to help her. But it was good that she went out to the toilet by herself. Because she walks in by herself, so she can do some walking. Just got to be motivated, <laughs> haven't you? Poor little girl. Because you lay here from like, what, eight hours or something, just lying here before. We'll put her on the bed now. Oh, this is a cute one. I love it. That looks so, we always let that looks so uncomfortable, but he often sits here on this chair. He's a funny boy. He's the only puppy that's ever sat on this chair. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coda. You wanted to be in the video too, did you, darling? Or were you just saying hello to everyone? <laughs>